Welcome back. We are back on the air. We yes. are not. This is not a repeat. You've never seen this show before. Woo, 2015. Yay. Here we are. And you know what? It's cold. We know in Minnesota. Uh, hello. It's winter time in Minnesota. But you, you can't take away one of the very few things we can do in the winter time. Uh, listen here, sister. They're taking it away. <laughs> uh, some cities are closing sledding hills for fear of getting sued by the people who get hurt. Now, isn't getting hurt on a sledding hill part of the rites of passage of winter in Minnesota? Part of the experience. You might as well just assume you're going to come back with a few bruises. Consider yourself lucky if you don't break something. Well, this is happening all over the Midwest. I guess the latest is in uh, in Iowa. Is that it? Yeah, in Dubuque, Iowa, I guess the city council is planning to ban sledding in all but two of its 50 parks. And the reason <laughs> the council members are pointing to all these multi-million dollar settlements for people who were seriously hurt on a hill. See? They sued the city and won. You see, there are so many lawyers out there with nothing to do. Now we're just suing hills. <laughs> we're just suing actual hills, people. We go uh, snow tubing up near about three hours north of here. Yeah. And we call the hill Crash Bang Boom Hill. Yeah, you're like, supposed it's, to. It's what happens, but I'm not trying to sue Crash Bang Boom Hill. When I go there, I know I'm crashing, banging, and booming. I wouldn't even know who to sue. Like, who <laughs> owns Crash Bang Boom Hill? You don't know. You have no idea. Well, in this case, the city in many of these instances, and okay, there is a stat. 20,000 kids are treated in the ER for sledding-related injuries. We know that, but how much of it was from the kind of play they were doing versus the condition of the hill itself? I, I don't know. We're I, a little Sue happy in America, I, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's just an a, a, a overabundance of lawyers and an underabundance of things to do. <laughs> now, uh, if, if you're going to, if, if you, say you're looking for a new way to break a limb and they are closing your local hill so you can't <laughs> sled down it, well, I got an idea for you right here, you guys. Uh, check this video out. That is a uh, YouTube user, Nathan Ziegler. Uh, freezing his backyard trampoline and uh, he's actually cr the creator of the frozen trampoline video which and, everyone's and been seeing because this is the day when it's this cold where everyone starts doing all these weird freezing cold in Minnesota right. experiments and he is a Minnesotan mm -hmm. puts out a lot of videos actually like this just how cold is it in Minnesota so we've got him on this Skype cold. we've got him on Skype right now hey Nathan how you doing Nathan, even. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hi, Nathan. I see you look so buttoned up for somebody who's trying to break his own ankle. Yeah. So what got you out there on your trampoline thinking, you know what, before I go to work today, I should definitely... Hurt myself. Do <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where'd the idea come from? I have a, a YouTube series called Minnesota Cold, and so I'm always looking for new ideas. So this was the first one that I was able to try this year when it got cold. And you're not a stuntman or anything. From what you've told me, you're a principal at a school in Minneapolis. So by day, you're taking care of kids. And by night, you're finding all these fun ways to be a big kid yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm a principal at Hope Academy in Minneapolis. And so I actually get some of the ideas from the students here. So what's going to happen when your students see your videos, break their legs trying to recreate your, uh, your trampoline stunt, <laughs> and, then, and now you are getting sued just like all these sledding hills all, all over Minnesota? Hills. <laughs> Not going to happen. Yeah, you don't want to try this at home, that's for sure. Well, okay, you've done a lot of these experiments, and we're going to show some video of a few of those. Minnesota, it's so cold that. Now, of all the experiments you've tried, which I think we're about to see the frozen bubble, which everybody loves bubbles. Yeah, I love the frozen bubble. Of all the experiments you've tried, what has been th that you think is the most daredevilish to do or the most interesting, one you will or won't do ever again? I don't know if I wouldn't do it again, but my favorite one is probably... I, and I got it from a, the idea from a student was freezing a towel and going sledding, as you were talking about before, going sledding down a hill. Oh, that that lawsuit just got even bigger. Why you're going to I... that sledding hill, you're banned, and now you're bringing a towel instead of a sled. I'm sorry, <laughs> I am mesmerized by the bubble video because I've tr this is one that I've tried and failed many times. Like as soon as you, as soon as the bubble leaves the bubble thing, for me it breaks. Is there is there yeah, a secret kind of... to to the to the bubbles actually staying together? Just make sure it's really cold. Yeah, it didn't answer. Cold, it wasn't enough for me. Really? Like, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it was the mixture. <laughs> How many tries did it take you to do the, the trampoline bit we saw first? That one was a one one time deal because once it's uh, once it's covered in the ice, you only have one shot to do it. Uh, we're watching the uh, the frozen uh, 
The frozen towel. The frozen towel sled. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, it works. Oh my god, you're gonna go to Target and spend thirty dollars on a sled? You don't need to go to Target and spend thirty dollars on a sled. Look at that. That's better than any sled you've ever seen. Nathan Ziegler, you are a true Minnesotan, extremely resourceful, making the best of a freezing cold day like this. So uh, what's next, Nathan? What's the next stunt that you haven't done yet? I usually don't let out the, the secrets before the video comes out, so I, I really can't tell you there yet. You go. That's a true entertainer. Don't right let there. anyone talk you into sticking your tongue to a metal pole. <laughs> Do you hear me? <laughs> All right, thanks, Nathan. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk to you later. Okay, when it gets this cold in our great state, you know what we have to do? We have to wrap.